is going to take this throw from deep inside his own half. Over the head of Walker. And then Murtasaka heads it away on the edge of the penalty area. Sanchez plays it in field. It's incredibly congested in there. But Ali has found Ericsson. Ericsson will take that. With his left foot, plays it centrally. Eric Dyer is there. Dyer goes with a pace pass to Lamella, who did well in the corner, actually. Plays it back to Rose. Now back to Dyer again. Dyer's going to go for the ball into the penalty area, but that will bounce harmlessly through to Ospina. 0-0, nil, nil, Danny Murphy. There's, a, there's a, such an obvious pass on Danny Rose. Every time Tottenham get the ball. I don't can't try it for now. Eight minutes to work out what Arsenal are trying to do technically. And I haven't worked it out yet, so leave it with me. Because all they've done is put Ramsey in central midfield with the other two and left Danny Rose on his own. Um, whether they think he's not a danger, as the game goes on, but he certainly will become a danger. the ball, still nil-nil, Dyer, and now Gandalf shuffles it forward, uh, the wall of red and white in front of him, finds Ali though inside the box on the left-hand side, Ali's attempted cross is blocked, Ramsey spinning away, trying to find some space, good luck with that, then passes it forward though, well, to Welbeck, on the right-hand side, Welbeck, preferred to Giroud and Walcott today, Welbeck, uh, gets a fortunate deflection there, step over from Welbeck, on his left foot, shoot, Immediately charged down by Danny Rose and the ball ricochets all the way towards the halfway line where it's still in play. Bellerin and Ali together there. And Bellerin 
will knock it back to Mertesacker, who wasn't expecting that. Just keeps it in play and wins a throw in off the man. Throw in. Well, we talked earlier about counter attacks. Arsenal soaked up a bit of pressure. And maybe with Welbeck playing, that's what he was thinking. Arsenal Wenger, you know, those long balls, he's great at running the channels. He's, he's always keen to make those runs, especially against Vimmer, who is quicker than. That could be something that they've uh, they've looked at. Uh, why they've uh, brought him into the side. So if that's the role of the Arsenal central midfield three, Danny, what about the role of Ozil and Sanchez today, particularly Ozil, I think. I was just thinking the same, because he hasn't got the ball much at the moment. Uh, when, I, when I saw the team line up, I thought maybe Ozil would start on the right, and, he, and play Ramsey with the other two, but he hasn't made his way out there, which has been strange, and it's easy for them to mark him now, because there's so many numbers in there. Just at the moment, Danny Welbeck's out there on the right-hand side. And Ozil in the central area. And uh, it's an obvious ploy. I, I don't understand the thinking behind it, but it is something they've obviously worked on training. Yeah. 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 He was caught there by Gibbs after the ball had gone, and it's a free kick. And this is a dangerous area for Arsenal to have conceded it. Right of centre from an angle. It is with this man Eriksen, he's got uh, superb technique, he can strike them hard, he can bend them. And of course, what you always say when a keeper comes in who hasn't played much recently, test him out early. This is the first real opportunity of a set play near to the goal of Tottenham have had. Tottenham nil, Arsenal nil. And uh, Lamella and Eriksen together over the ball. Putting the spray down to line up the wall, and it'll be, it'll be a three-man Arsenal wall. Eriksen, back pedaling, Harry Kane near the penalty spot, but also Alderweireld, Deli Ali a threat, Dembele is up there as well, and Eric Dyer on the far side of the penalty area. So the free kick, Lamella takes it, and he strikes the top of the wall, and of runs it. Played over the top by Vimmer, headed away by Gibbs on the edge of the area. Played over the top again, but too much on that. So wasted opportunity. Yeah, he didn't quite get the height on it. Good header in the wall. It's. Um, I was surprised Eric didn't say that. Maybe it was set up more for the left foot. So now now, still trying to come out. Should lights are on. Uh, great atmosphere inside this famous old ground with the golden cockerel on the top of the stand up above the other side of the ground from where we sit. Here is Dembele, the bearded Dembele. To Ali. And now Danny Rose finds the pass forward towards Dembele, who begins to drift in field. Ericsson now also in that congested central area. Ericsson to the left-hand side, to Danny Rose. Aaron Ramsey goes out there. Still Ericsson in possession. Skip away from Conte, of course, get around. Then a heavy challenge by Ramsey eventually succeeds in putting the ball out of play for a top and throw. Shouts for a shove on Kelly Alley by Bernard. The centre that is given a free kick over on the left hand side. Tottenham wanted to take that quickly, but Michael Oliver's having none of it. He wants them to bring it back. Just a little heavy by Murphy Sander. Kelly Alley tumbling to the ground. Swing it in from an angle on the left. Yeah, it's a better angle for Eriks than this. Certainly won't shoot. Uh, we'll whip it in with a lot of pace yeah. into that back post area. Ericsson waits. A packed penalty area. Waits for this delivery. Here it is from Ericsson. Whips it into the near post. And it's scooped up by Ospina down next to his ankles. Yeah, tidy Absolutely. goalkeeping. Didn't quite get the trajectory on the ball. Ericsson really wanted. Another way to set play with him. Tottenham nil, Arsenal nil, and uh, it's been mainly Tottenham, but it has been incredibly frantic. Here's Olderweire. Uh, his ball is cut out by Danny Welbeck, and now Ursel sets Welbeck through, but didn't reach that. Good cover from Tottenham. Oh, that's a heavy touch by Lloris. He's just got there in time with Welbeck bearing down on it. Poor first touch by Lloris, which is most good line. But now Dexter. Strong work from Dexter. Away from Ramsey. It's taken up by Kyle.
choice. Villa, but to here, the right hand side to Walker. Eriksen. Eriksen to Canapere. Uh, Maybe that just betrays a bit of nervousness among the Tottenham players. Canapere now strokes the ball across the surface of the pitch. Rose with an early pass, but Bertasaka is in there quickly to clear it downfield. That's an uncertain header by Villa, though. Yes. And Danny Welbeck's all over the back of the Austrian. Uh, he did clear it, only the Ramsey. Ramsey drives it on into the fullback position. There's only Welbeck inside the box. Back it comes to Urza. Now Sanchez has arrived as well inside the penalty area. Ramsey in possession. On his left foot, has a look up, but is going to use the option. And now Tottenham being able to get everyone back into position. Arsenal with it on the right hand side. Tangled four comes back to Urza. Just well to find Ramsey in a tight space. Ramsey, though, found Deli Ali was back yeah. there. And Arsenal having to come all the way back almost and start again. And then in comes the challenge from Lamella to win it back. Huge cheers for Lamella for that little piece of work. Uh, and then eventually ball breaks out of play. Off top line on the halfway line. Arsenal there not really taking advantage themselves. No, they've had a couple of little opportunities from Spurs mistakes in the final third. They haven't kept alive. A couple of minutes ago we saw what their belly brings to that energy of the team. Big drifting past players getting them from their own half. Tension, the lines on his face. He's feeling it. And I think what he said yesterday made everyone aware of the fact that he knows that he is man under pressure. So for the run that they've been on, Arsenal losing their last three matches in all competitions. He has rose down the left hand side, waits and waits, eventually delivers. Easily cleared away by Murkasaka. Rose wins it back though. Rose now, it might open up for it. Slips it across, but cleared away by Gabriel. After Lamella made the run into the penalty area, just ahead of him from Rose. Sanchez now. All round for Alexis Sanchez. Does well. Quick space in the centre circle. Coquelin. Little ball out to Pellerin. Pellerin now, the Arsenal right back goes for an early ball in, but it's cleared away, cleared away on the edge of the box. Taken down by Kane Davies inside his own half. Kane. Out to the left hand side. Pellerin there as well. He begins to move into the field now. Very Dyer. Dyer. Eriksen tried to give it back. Then a back heel from Ali. Now Lamella. Three Arsenal players around him. How many is it now? Took that direction. Shoots from distance. But Gabriel, the Brazilian, threw himself in front of the shot. Blocked the win. Now it comes to the left hand side again for top. Danny Rhodes. And Kane. Who's way out on the left hand side, Harry Kane. Arsenal trying to win it back. The challenge it comes in from Welbeck. Welbeck trying to go around the outside of Rose, who puts in the challenge. Then the ball bounces out of play eventually for a throwing to Tottenham inside their own half. Nil nil. Oh, take a breath. It's non stop. Brilliant play from uh, Sanchez a minute or two ago on the last Arsenal attack. That's what we like to see from him committing people, little bits of skill and getting Arsenal up the pitch. But um, I can't explain to people at home the Danny Rose situation. He gets the ball in his own half and has 50 yards of space to carry the ball into the attacking half. He hasn't made use of it yet, but. I don't see how how that's helping Arsenal in any way because they're not dominating in the middle of the pitch anyway. It's such an easy get out for Tottenham, hence the fact they're dominant and, and being able to get out on that left hand side so easily. But it has, as we've been saying, just been that hesitation for Tottenham as well to use it. You know, just if we talk about the pace of the game, it's so in that aspect of the game, we Tottenham could do with a little more pace in it to, to get the to get the move started. Nil nil. Tottenham and Arsenal, who have each won 15 Premier League matches this season. But Tottenham have lost fewer league games, Tottenham have scored more goals, Tottenham have conceded fewer goals than Arsenal this season. That's why many feel that Tottenham here are right are in this game at the edge. Walker went down to costly defeats in midweek. Here's Alexis Sanchez scored in his last 11 Premier League games. Elite Alexis teams. Sanchez Eliminated. taking on Eriksen, moves in field. Low ball to El Nelly, El Nelly into the penalty area, but it rattles around there and is cleared away on the edge of the box by Dembele. Uh, now Gibbs 
of this weekend. Throw in for Tottenham. The Walker takes. Ball still halfway inside the Tottenham half. Out it goes to Danny Rose. Rose. Ozil sort of trots across there. So Rose plays it in field. Lamella with a touch. Dembele in the centre circle. Ericsson just forward of the centre circle. Strokes it through to Kane on his right foot. Gabriel put in the challenge. Comes out with Walker. Walker drives it across. What a save from Ospina. Lamella with a chance. And Ospina leaping to his right makes the save of the match so far. Well, he said he hasn't been stretched. He certainly was then from Lamella. Smashed across the box from the right hand side from Walker. And Lamella just guides it to the far corner. Great save from Ospina. Really impressive from Ospina. Tottenham with it on the left. And then uh, Danny Rose is hauled to the ground there. And it's a free kick to Tottenham in the Arsenal right back position. Danny Rose. Sitting on the ground with his palms apart, and it is a yellow card for Barry, the right back. It's that man Rose again. So it's a free kick to Tottenham in a dangerous position. And um, Ericsson waits to take this. An absolutely crowded six yard box. Ericsson still waits. Start from it, then back pedals away. Here we go, big moment here. Set piece for Arsenal to paint. The score's nil nil. Just waiting for Michael Oliver's whistle. Michael Oliver, the referee, backs away. Two man Arsenal wall, even though the angle is very tight. Nobody on the edge of the box. And Lamella is waiting there. Has the freedom of probably filthy square yards. There's the whistle. Ericsson ready now. Here's the delivery from Ericsson. Swings it in and it's caught by Ospina. That was hit with some pace. Some catch. He's looked tidy, hasn't he, Ospina? He's certainly not been phased by uh, this game. A little juggle. A little juggle from Ospina. Just got it in the second attempt. And now foul on the halfway line. The yellow card is out again. And Mark Kugac is pointing to Lamella. I think it is, Eric Lamella. It is yellow card, it is. Just something on the halfway, or just a tug back on the halfway line on oh, Danny Welbeck. Sure he got so long to play. Low. So replay incidentally just now with the chance that Lamella had there. I don't know whether you saw it on no. our little screams. You know, it was whipped across, wasn't it, from the right hand side. 
actually hit the Mella as much yeah. as anything. Hit him on the shins, which deflected it goalwards. Well, it was going at such pace, wasn't it? He did well to get anything on it, but what a save. I mean... The ball no. bounces back from Murtasaka. The crowd tried to put the Frighteners on Murtasaka. No. But the tall German, World Cup winner, he's got more composure than, uh, than that. And he's able to play it back to Ospina. Here is uh, Ericsson now on the halfway line. Welbeck, and now Sanchez, now Ramsey. Two Welbeck on the left-hand side. Welbeck, who has covered an awful lot of ground in this game already. Welbeck, obviously only just back from injury. Already scored a couple of goals since his return. Now in the field towards Pockel. Murnesacker in possession near the halfway line. And then El Elneny. And Arsenal knocking it around inside the Tottenham half. There's over there on the far side of the field to Coquelin. In comes Dyer with a challenge on Coquelin. Then Ali as well. And then Dyer again. And then Coquelin gets up. No free kick. Great stuff. And then, uh, well, and then the referee is going to bring it back, actually. Yeah, Coquelin. And show Coquelin the yellow card. The heat challenge was out to hand ball. And in, in the midst of that incident with Ali, when he fell over, he catches it with his hand. That's exactly what I've done that many times. Getting caught in possession of midfield as you fall onto the ball there. The arm just happens to bring it back. Just the way it does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's two Arsenal yeah. Yeah, yeah, yellow cards. Coughlin and Bellerin. Lamella yellow carded for Tottenham. So uh, less than half an hour played. And those yellow cards have begun to come. And uh, Tottenham in possession inside their own half. Dyer. Controller that keeps it in here. The Egyptian El Nini has come across, played back to Dyer. Strokes it forward, good pass towards Ericsson. Beat the challenger of Coquelin. Now played in by Ericsson. That final ball not there from Ericsson just yet. And Arsenal able to clear it away through Gibbs up towards the halfway line. Well back. Steering ahead around the player. A shout of frustration. We can see Ursula. He's only 15 yards away from us as a fan away from it into the advertising hoarding. Throwing for Tottenham. Walker to Harry Kane. And now a little dink forward from Ericsson. El Nenny hooks it high and away. Sanchez and, and yeah. Walker are there together. Just a little lean on Sanchez wins a free kick for us. Can't tell you how stri how much strength it takes Stand to do what he just did. Being smaller than Walker. Just the power of Sanchez. Twice held him up the ball and got the free kick. Brilliant play. Nil nil. Tottenham nil. Arsenal nil. Tottenham. Who are looking to win the league for the first time for 55 years. 1961. It must have been drummed into you, Daniel, the time that you were a Tottenham player. 1961. The double winning year. It's been talked and talked and talked about. And here they are in the march with a real chance. With Murtasaka at the back. Arsenal have won the league six times since Tottenham last won it. Long and forward from Arsenal, but off the head of Dimmer and through to Lloris, who's able to claim the bouncing ball. Although we've had no goals, I think it's been a super first half. Lots of incident. It's a real tactical game going on as well, but the sheer pace of it's been, been a sort of pleasure to watch. Yeah, great, great Premier League action, isn't it? That's what the English Premier League is all about. Here's Lamella through the middle, but Murtasaka is able to steer it to Elneny, who lifts it first time towards Bellerin on the right-hand side. One or two of the substitutes, just for the first time, beginning to move in front of us. They head out for a little warm-up. Dembele plays it on the left-hand side. Now it comes in field towards Deli Ali. Ali just evades uh, a couple of challenges and plays it back to Aldevira. He's inside his own half and will roll it all the way back to Hugo Lloris. And moves it away to his left. Lloris then high and full. And that will harmlessly bounce for Murtasaka, who is going to roll it all the way back to Ospina. Uh, possession at the moment. Uh, Tottenham 55% possession. Arsenal 45%. And Arsenal just with one attempt on goal so far. Coughlin. Puts the ball out on the edge of the penalty area. Groves, Tottenham Groves. Danny Rose does well to win it back against Ramsey. Leaves it for Lamella. Ramsey's back in there though with the challenge. Sloppy Lamella. Ramsey, forward. This is one for Welbeck to chase. Three out of the penalty area. Diving. Header. 
through, so he is all against Ozil, gets the pass all wrong. The Tottenham supporters love that, but the same did Ozil. He didn't, he didn't.